Good day to you and welcome to another edition of Locally Made, right here on IKTV Channel 112. I'm your presenter, Jillian Cruikshank, and today we're deep, deep uh, in the in the, the, the jungle with Elvis the Brewman, and we're going to be showing you the process that your broom goes through, your yard broom, I should say, goes through before it gets to you. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. Live from Majorca in the forest by the river. We'll be right back. IKTV Channel 112. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here with Elvis the Brewman. I got that right. I know that's not your full name, but that's what everybody knows you as. And we're in Majorca, but exactly where are we? Oh, I'm just about below the waterfall. In that, where they kept the water fountain, but it's way far from it's still in that right up it. So you follow the track and you come right in. But I can't go above the dam and nowhere around the dam. So you have to stay away from there. So the stuff them grow around the riverside, down way, way down below. What what kind of what kind of um, plant is it? They, they, they call it um, um, they call it they call it um, shade palm. Like it's a broad leaf of palm. So okay. people that go in the mountain and cut them to shelter rain if rain come down. Uh -huh. So these these are the palm. They're broad and uh, my up cousin of mine used to come and meet them. And then after I watch him meet them and I say. After he died, I'm going to say, this, you see this stuff here, this is a good stuff. So I just take it up and then start to make them. And right now, and they're even making them like how he's making them. I'm making them look better. They look presentable like if they come out of factory when I don't make them. So what are we going to go to now? Uh, I'm going to head down, um, down home and take you where I'm making them and show you exactly how I'm making them. I'm glad for the young people to take it up to now, but nobody don't want to take it up, but it's a good stuff. It is, and it helps you to be independent, and you seem to be doing pretty well. Not, not easy, not easy, but just make up my mind for it, you know. It's a battery in me, I just, just for it, prepare for it, and that's it. And what about the climb? The, 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 the path to get here is pretty, I would say treacherous, because I'm, I'm not accustomed to it. Like, but you, you make it well all the time. Yeah, I make it, and I never fall, because I'm a mountain man, you know. And I, okay. I, I, I need that stuff, and I mean, I determine I have to get it. Okay. So I don't make... The road bother me. Sometimes I slip, but I get up back. <laughs> All right, let's go and see how this is done. I'm going to cut some broom. Well, so let's cut those stuff, carry them home, and dry them, and make broom with them. And it's a very nice craft, you know. Because people do buy the broom then to dust this stuff there right over there, um, the broad leaf. So I'm going right there now and cut some. They are right there. These are the stuffy right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let them right here. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are the stuff. They feed on water. So then you will find them where water is. There's a guy that come from up Sandy beside, right? He's my brother in law. And he used to make them. So I used to watch him make them. So I say, this thing here look interesting. And then he leave and then I just take it up and continue. At about it's about um it's about 20 years now since I'm making them. And I have shops and supermarket to take them from me. Yeah, 
Let me just see. Um, right here now, they will make about two dozen broom because I ain't cut. Yeah, monk, that has cut. That's cut like we could make about five dozen broom. So we're here where the broom is actually made and put together. All right, guys. So we are here and we're going to start making the broom, right? The brooms. And this is the first part. One of the um, first actual part of the process where you can see it coming to life. Yeah. So we have the palm here, the dried palm. Yeah. And uh, you had to chop off pieces yeah. of, of yeah, the, the, the end the yeah, end take off the end okay yes. how do you know how much to take how much to put together like how how do you know um i just just wash it and see how much could make a broom okay you know you know Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, I'm not chopping out these. Okay, why these is that? These are the covers. Oh, those are the Let's covers. Go over the broom. This, this, these go over the broom. Okay. Yeah. I use them when I tear up. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the, the wind, the when they blow the tear up, some tape like this, sometimes they dry crypts on the tape. But when okay. I tear, like these, like all this broad here, uh -huh. these are the covers. Those are the I covers. Use these okay. The covers. Alrighty. So, I think I'm going to eat back right here. Let me get out of your way. Right here. Right here. Okay. Well, get your stuff then, right? Okay. So you pack them in to make sure they're even. Yeah, 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 they're even. Okay. And, and you open the middle. Uh-huh. And put the stick in the middle. Okay. You notice how far the stick is? Mm-hmm. 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 And that's important to make yeah, sure you put it in. This one is not yeah, in it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry about this way. This way is strong enough to hold it. Okay. Excuse me? What's the nail for? To hold the wire, to 
keep everything together. It's dry to keep it, that it can, oh, the stick okay. can go in. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. Gives it a grip. Yeah, you get yeah. a grip. So you cannot move. You cannot go in, you can't come out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And this is the cover now. Mm -hmm. You rest it over it like that. Okay. To give it a kind of refined look. Yeah, no. And it look it look like it, it come out the factory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nothing in the exposed and look presentable, you know? You're okay. Yeah. Let me give it another band here. This band is below the, the other band inside. So it, it can't get to move now. Either. It's only tight. I'm gonna tie it. How long have you been making brooms for? About, about 20 years now. 20 years? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And when uh, I left school, I didn't uh -huh. make brooms. I didn't government school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does your son know how to make brooms? Yeah, I teach him. But he's not interested. He okay. Also. All right. <laughs> yeah. no, um, okay. And I use this piece of strip to hide the wire. Okay. Make it look crafty and... Yeah. Get a silly wire there. Would you consider taking on an apprentice if somebody came to you and, say, and said, I would love to learn how to make brooms? I'm willing. I'm ready right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just that no one else seems Nobody to... Nobody If I did too hard for them, perhaps. I don't know. But I would that if somebody could come and just take up this tree there. Okay. Yeah. It's a good tree. They could make it. They may not it. It's hard work, but... Yeah. When I tell the guys them to come and see how to make the broom, but they're not interested in this. Perhaps they don't want to ask it to bite them. <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe it has to do with the treacherous part they have to take to oh, go yeah. and get the palm itself. Yeah. It because be that wasn't, that for me, that was not easy. Um, it really was not an easy trek. Mm -hmm. Okay. At any time, have you ever like slipped or gotten damage on your way down there, or uh, making a broom in any yeah, part of the I, process? I, I, I get damaged already. Um, well, sometimes the broom man does they high. Like when you go by the riverside, they, you know, they, they go down by the riverside, cut them. Mm -hmm. You know, where well, you could reach them. You had some to use a bamboo stick and put it in the knife uh -huh. and, and go cut up and the palm. gas them. Okay. So at time I've been going and setting up the bamboo stick to thing, but my foot slip mm -hmm. and the bamboo stick get with it and hook here so. The mark is still there. Yeah. <laughs> so it stabbed you? Yeah, it, it, it cut me. It cut my foot here, wow. right here. Yeah, it's bam stick, bam up, pan away thing, and it hooked there. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, and how did you make it out? Because I'm sure you were there by yourself. Yeah, I was there by yourself, bleeding, but um, I don't know. I tried to quad up the bank, uh -huh. and I called a friend of mine mm -hmm. and tell him I get cut. So he come and take me. I came down to the clinic, the hospital, and get it. Jess. Okay. It's about three stitches. So how far is the hospital from here? Um, you have a clinic down mess with them um, about um, fifth, about so ten minutes away. Oh, ten, okay. Ten. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you made it out. Yeah. Can you get Can you get lost down there if you don't know your way? No, but if he's a stranger. Okay. Yeah, if he's a stranger, you get lost. So otherwise. Yeah. What is this material called? Um, nylon. Nylon. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like the nylon I know, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, this is the nylon. I have some other brooms I'm making. I'm making the yard on them too. Okay. Not these alone I'm making. So you'll show us um, some of the others that yeah, you normally yeah, make? Yeah. 
Where are you where are you based? When you're finished, where do you take your finished products to um, get them sold? Those oh. that aren't ordered. Yeah. Um, I'd be, like if anybody wants to get on to me, where they could find me, me? Yes. Oh, I, I, I don't be downtown um, where people pharmacies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't be there selling. And so, so they could, if anybody interested, they could find me right there. Okay, a people's pharmacy. Yeah, people's pharmacy, right. There. And where can we find your brooms besides there? Um, you could find it in um, Richland Park by Davis Supermarket. Okay. And Miss Vera in town where the central market is. Uh huh. And you have a lady out Carla for me to sell over to yeah. oh, where the car the clinic is. Oh, okay, where call the clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the purpose of this? threading process because it looks like a threading process this one yeah what what is the purpose of this uh, to keep the handle of the broom okay yeah and they give it a, a nice look to you know yeah, yeah. A, a design yeah <laughs> that I never used to make anything like this I used to just make it like the way I did, just cut uh -huh. it off here okay and what made you start doing that part I don't know this copy this idea okay <laughs> yeah, just ideas. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's good when you can have your craft yeah. evolve, you know, yeah. whether it's for optics or, you know, yeah. for convenience sure. or just strength. Yeah. Cut it off like here. Uh -huh. Very neat. Make sure everyone is in the same length. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to be pretty, pretty strong, huh? Yeah, to um, put holistic if you like. Okay. okay. That's it. Right there. And it cut has to be sharp. That's finished. Wow. <laughs> One go at it. <laughs> and yeah. it is that easy. Yeah. It is that easy. <laughs> Here you have, is this a yard broom or you can, you can just the, use it for the house? This, these, these are house. These are house brooms. Yeah, house broom. Okay. And mm -hmm. you can sweep like carpet. Concrete and the carpet. Uh -huh. You could sweep the carpet in the house. And know? tiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. The sweep right clean. All right. Yeah. Guys, you see, and it's a simple process. Yeah. And you won't, you don't have. I'm sure there's no dropping off of leaves, no, and you don't no, have to no, deal no. with it's that. Be, you pump it properly while you beat it, and nothing is coming out of it. <laughs> nothing can drop out. It properly make until it finish. Straight out of nature to your home. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> do you have a brand? Like, what do you? What, what's the name? Elvis's broom? Yeah, or um, well, I just call me broom man. Bro just the broom man. man. Broom man yeah. Yeah, when I started out, I used to walk from. And here, sometimes I go reach them park, go out far away, you know, go out, uh -huh. out, out diamond and all them places, walk and sell brooms. Sometimes I catch Van Gogh Lee was shot to be there and them places. So you broom. really hustle? Yeah, in the early part. I used to walk, catch Van and sing and go and sell the broom then. So after everybody got to know you, Elvis yeah. the broom guy, yeah. and started expecting you, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you were able to at some point yeah. get transported. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people used to don't shut to. And spring uh -huh. used to buy broom for me. Used to buy the, 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 so that's why, you know? Okay. They, they, they shop clothes on and so like that, you know? Yeah. Okay, let me hold this for yeah. you. Okay. And it's still moist and wet. Yeah, but it, it, it <laughs> you're gonna take it, I intend to marry it. it see, like, it go there.
And you get a lot of support from the people around here in your neighborhood. They come to buy your brooms too. One or two of them does come and buy. One oh, okay. or two of them does come and buy. But I just get more, more support out the out outside, you know? Okay. Yeah. That, that piece is too stiff, you know? Okay. Because when you pull it, you don't want it to bust. It can be too dry. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it can't be too dry. <laughs> if it's too dry, yeah, it, um, so I just put them out a little, get a little moisture, mm -hmm. get a little feel a little, not too crips, you know? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if it's easy. It's easy to look for. Okay. See, it's so dry. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do that and then you're gonna cut off the yeah, okay the yeah, outer part. Yeah. Okay. You know how the bump you see where the wire where the um the nylon go through you see where it pass. <laughs> That these were the inside brooms so the outside for the outside brooms right you use a different um material okay okay Our viewers out there who are watching and they're interested in getting um, a broom yeah. whether it's a household or one for the yard um, tell us how we can contact you oh, my, well, my number is 491-3322 I'm on Facebook and on um, WhatsApp 
Okay, and what's the cost of one of your brooms? Uh, most likely I sell one for like $10, but if you have $8, I'll still take it, you know? Okay, so you're flexible with your price. Yeah. But all in all, it is $10 yeah. per broom. Yeah. But wholesale, like if somebody come and want them wholesale, I sell like $7 for one. Okay. Yeah. Again, Elvis, thank you so much. Or should I say the brew man? Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with us. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today. It's been so exciting. It's been thrilling. It's been an experience. Um, it's also been very eye-opening. We had a chance to visit Elvis the brew man to see how he makes his brooms. And it was definitely a journey. I got to get my hands dirty and do a little bit of everything. We wanna thank you so much for joining us here in Mount Pleasant, Mesopotamia, in Majorca, Majorca Mountains. And it is so beautiful. The, the environment makes me not want to leave. It is cool and beautiful. And uh, the raspberries are plus, I have to say. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Jillian Crookshank for Locally Made on IKTV Channel 112. Locally Made is sponsored by Inter-Caribbean Airways.